Congo Republic's president, Denis Sassou Nguesso, has been re-elected with more than 88% of the vote, official results said on Tuesday. That outcome will come as no surprise to diplomats and political analysts. As one of Africa's longest ruling leaders, the 77-year-old has a firm grip on state institutions in the Central African oil producer. The main opposition party had also boycotted the vote, and two of his other most prominent rivals were convicted of crimes after the last election in 2016. In Brazzaville, Sassu's supporters, like Chantel Akutikulu, were celebrating. He is a man of God. He was elected by God. God chose him. Be careful, may no one touch him. Sassu's nearest rival, Guy Brice Parfait Colela, received 8% of the vote. He died just hours after the polls closed while being evacuated to France for coronavirus treatment. Sassou, a former paratrooper, took power in 1979. He lost Congo's first multi-party election in 1992, but returned to office in 1997, after a civil war. Speaking on Tuesday, Sassou said he was grateful to the people. We must respond to the call to the push for the future of the Congo, which is our common good. But the immediate future for Congo looks challenging. The economy has been in crisis since an oil price collapse in 2014. That caused external debt, much of it owed to private oil traders like Glencore, to soar to over 100% of gross domestic product. The global health crisis and a drop in oil prices last year have made matters worse. The economy contracted by more than 8% in 2020 and is expected to grow by less than 1% this year.